five minutes with you guys. My poem's about three minutes, which means I get to teach y'all poetry etiquette. Um, so raise your hand if you ever been to an open mic. That's culture. Happy Black History Month. <laughs> uh, so I'm just teaching a few little things, and then I'm gonna get into the poem, get out your way, because wow, I'm in tears. Um, so the first thing y'all can do if y'all hear like a little lion, like y'all can snap, snap, snap. Stop. That was corny. In an alternate universe, all of the prisons are turned into poetry. With infinite open mics and slam competition, where no feeling goes unfelt, no word goes unsaid. Every piece will be incomplete because no true story is ever finished in Baltimore. A poet's words are worth more than a million pictures, which is said to be worth a thousand words you may not remember image of the boy who was shot dead, but the memory of him is poetic. The metaphors, the similes, the connecting, synecdoches, listen to the poem. Someone once told me that everything is a poem if you listen close enough. The sirens are a hook that draws you in. The music is the metaphors hidden in the imagery. The laughter is the Jesus of everlasting home hitting memories and everything is a poem. And everyone is a poet. And somewhere, there's a poet in a Fells Point Chinese carryout. <laughs> where the place is dirty, but you know the food is phenomenal. <laughs> Stay up until 3 a.m. so he can get it just right. A girl is in the back of her history class. And instead of listening to the lecture on the Nazi, she's writing a poem about her friends who are not seeing good days. She may not pass the test during the Holocaust but she will change lives with her poem. A boy is up until 1 a.m. because who needs sleep when you got slams to win? Listen to the poem. The city may not be rich and sound, but we are surely rich in sound. We don't want to feel weak, don't know what to do with our emotions, so we do more to feel less. And instead of throwing punch, punches, we throw pens. Instead of catching bodies, we write them. And we always kill them. Now tell me, can a picture do that? Can a prison do that? Can it make you feel everything and leave you wanting more? Breathe life into you and then take it all away? Tell you it loved you when your mother can't? I used to think that I was a voice for the voiceless. And I was wrong. I'm just one voice among millions of others, hoping that the words I say are enough to make you want to change the world. Or your world, or maybe I just want to make it so that Baltimore is not a place that you want to drive through, but to maybe I just want to show the world that Baltimore is not just a part of the journey, but it can be the destination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 